Welcome back to J-Ro Plays Sonic Adventure 1. Hey, man, look at you, you're in the pool! I'm a flippin' a floppin' and a fool and a poppin'. I'm talking hell yeah. Last time, we were reading a, a, an epic tale, and I realized that... It was 59 chapters. It was 59 chapters, it was really good, but I, it wasn't what we wanted. Friggin', it was giving us the plot in the, in the story that's gonna make me cry later, but that's, that's not what we came here for. We came for- oh, hey, Amy! <laughs> Stop walking at me! Stop moonwalking at me, Amy! Fucking dude. With this song in the background, too? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Just fucking... You... That's... That's rude. It really is. So, we had decided to switch fan fictions. Yes. Um... So, do you want to recap, uh... Oh, you should probably... Oh. I just noticed that's a thing. What? There's a thing, the save thing, where it goes and shows, like, your entire director. <laughs> it's like, user's John. Oh no, now they're gonna know my name. Oh no. And that I save things to the dolphin emulator. Yo. Just, just, <laughs> just a thing. Um, so do you want to recap, uh... Alright, so we were reading an amazing story about the... Sonic came home and it wasn't Sonic and some shit was about to go down, but uh, what I feel j Row wanted was um Don't make this about me. <laughs> when j Row wanted uh, one of the classic Sonic fanfictions that everyone knows and knows. El Clasico. El Clasico. And uh, I think I found one. It's called Guilty Pleasure by The Anonymous. <laughs> Read the, the summary last time. I think it's. Uh, I think it's fair to say we should jump right in, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, jump All right, right in. <clears throat> Make like tails and jump right in there. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. All right, chapter one. Oh, is that the name of the chapter? Oh, it is. Uh, I guess it's oh. oh. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Alright, they give the summary again. <laughs> Slight warning. This story is rated M for loads of not safe for contact, but considering the title, that's probably why you're here. Don't worry, it's all fluff and some good kink. So, um, so what's nice is now YouTube requires you to, um, say whether or not you consider your content yep. for children. <laughs> the coppa fucking, yeah. I, <laughs> so I get, I think we can safely say this is not for children. This, yeah, no. I, I, I think once you play a Sonic game, you have to say it's not for children. Because, <laughs> like, you, you can't talk about Sonic without this shit coming up. Why? Okay, so, ch all right, chapter one. Uh, uh... Summary. They re read the summary from earlier. Sonic Tales have grown up together when they were since they were five years old. Being that close to someone so long, it isn't a surprise that one of them would develop feelings for the other. Tails decides he wants to be bold about this, and challenging Sonic's ego is the way to do it. Surely this is a dangerous game they're playing. Can't go wrong? Uh, slight warning. Story is written for loads of not zipper work contests. Considering the title, that's probably why you're here. Don't worry, it's all plump and some good king. Notes. This story is literally its title for me. I've had a hard time finding some good multi-chapter Sonails, and I wanted to make something Sonails. different. Yeah, Maybe I, because I, Tails is a child? Maybe, yeah. Maybe know. that has something to do with it? Maybe. I don't know. Well, I mean, he's, he goes on to say, I don't normally ship these two, but sometimes you get in the mood for it. If you like fluffy, kinky stuff like this, then this is the fic for you. Absolutely. Just an FYI, Sonic and Tails are the same age in this fanfiction, and they're both 16. Oh. <laughs> I, need this, I need them the same age for the plot to work. Also, there's going to be some Sonadao and Sonics, including <laughs> M slash M slash M stuff. Haven't written smut in a while, and decided I wanted to do something nice. Anonymous Sonic. Oh! Guilty Pleasures, written by Anonymous Sonic. Baited by Kappa, prologue the bet. Oh, baited by Cappy, prologue the bet. Yikes. Well... We getting demonetized today, boys! I mean, you guys... <laughs> Here we go! Do you want me to stop? 
<laughs> we'll, we'll see how how bad it gets. Oh. Until then, it's fine. Prologue. The bet. <clears throat> nice fucking music, by the way. Stepping yeah. on stepping out into the living room, the golden fox stops to admire the sight laid out on the couch before him. A bluish hedgehog he knew all too well was laying across his couch on his back. His large quills were swept to one side, a hand over his chest, one arm and one egg, one leg hanging over the edge, while the other leg was propped up slightly and leaning against the back of the seats. He was sleeping completely still, which meant he was surely out of it in a really deep state of sleep. The moonlight from the window behind the furniture was casting on, casting on his cobalt fur, making him glow in the dark and room and look just... Shaking his head and walking over, the fox sits on the edge of the couch and holds out his hand to gently caress the side of the blue hero's muzzle. Mm -hmm. He smiles when Sonic turns his head, subconsciously burying his nose into the fox's hand and breathing in deeply, as if even in his sleep he knew what it was and that he was comfortable with him. That was something Tails was very proud of. The fact that Sonic the Hedgehog, hero of Mobius and number one nemesis to the evil Dr. Eggman Robotnik, was his best friend and felt comfortable around him. That he had the chance to grow up with a famous hero through thick and thin and see the sides of him that everyone else just wished to know. He loved this very thought and cherished it every time he so much as looked at him. Sonic shifts in his sleep and Tails could tell the hedgehog was cold. Deciding his current position probably wasn't the comfiest. The fox lifts the other arm and places it on, the, his, on his palm chest before lifting the dangling blue leg up as well and putting it next to the other. He decides to take the hero's shoes off, gently tugging at them so as to not startle him and kick painfully in the process, something he's learned the hard way from. <clears throat> Before putting both red shoes on the floor beside the couch, he takes off his gloves and socks as well, a move that would seem inappropriate to others if they hadn't been so close, and puts them on the table nearby. He grabs the blanket from, his head, from the head of the couch and throws it over the hero's body, tucking him in so he would stay warm throughout the night. After his work was done, the fox teen stops and looks at his friend again, feeling an ache in his chest and wanting to confess so dearly. How would Sonic react? How would he would he give him the chance? Would he reciprocate those feelings? He wasn't sure, but to be completely honest, he knew Sonic was like the back of his hand, but when it came to the hedgehog's emotion, it was a pure mo mystery. Sonic claimed to care for him more than anyone in any, or anything in the world, but was, that was simply brotherly love, and if so, could it possibly change and become something uh, just a bit more special? Yikes. <laughs> this crush on Sonic was something he's had since they were children. Over the years, though, it's evolved into something more. No matter his attempts to cover it, he just couldn't help it. Now that, they, <laughs> now that they were both 16, Sonic only older him by so many months. He wondered if his chances were better or worse. If Sonic fell for someone else before he can confess? Or no. <sighs> what if Sonic fell for someone else before he could confess? He was gonna say, was that a question? <laughs> Sonic fell for someone else before confess? <laughs> that was not the our author. That was me being bad at reading. Just clearing that up. <laughs> he knew the hedgehog uh, he knew the hedgehog had his eyes on another certain somebody, a male for that matter. But would Sonic even consider his best friend as a candidate? In his worried state, he gently grabbed the hero's fond hand and held it onto it longingly. He knew that if he wanted to have Sonic, he was going to have to make a move very soon and very quickly. He had to... <laughs> I wanted to say he had to go fast. Also, <laughs> is that Peach's cast? No, this is the carnival. Like this is this not. is where I've I've went instead of trying to save tails. You went you went to go get some cake, man. Hell yeah. There. Gotta get the cake cake cake. <laughs> he knew that he'd be one of those. All right. He just didn't know how to go about it. One false move could shatter everything, so he really needed to plan this out. He was smart, so he could so he was sure he could conjure us something up. Besides, many told him, including their friends, that Sonic loved him more than the world. So if that was the case, it might not be hard to turn that love into something better. Oh, he just man. needed the right push. <laughs> he remembered a time just last year where he almost had that push. They had been at a party at Club Rouge, celebrating the two's birthdays together. There was a running joke by Rouge herself that the two looked adorable together, and that they should, to celebrate their big day, have a birthday kiss. Rouge! <laughs> They're 16! <laughs> Is Rouge also 16? Or are they just, no, they're think... just high school sweethearts, man? No, Rouge is older, I think, because she works 
as a mercenary and part of the government sometimes. She also owns a club named Club Rouge. She also, I guess. I was gonna say, maybe, I don't know. We'll, we'll find out, I, I'm assuming. Did you walk over to the what? Over the fuck? Alright. After everyone got involved and pressured them over the course of the party, the two finally gave in. He remembers it so clearly. How pink Sonic's face was, how soft his lips were, how he flustered he was afterwards. So they did kiss. Yeah, they did. Because everyone peer pressured them to make out. Oh. Uh -uh. <laughs> is... Yikes, you. <laughs> this is all classic. Looking down at the sleeping hedgehog, he wonders if Sonic has felt the same way about him this whole time, and neither have been brave enough to admit it. Maybe it was time he took charge and figured it out for both of them. He decides he's been awake too long and reminds himself that he and Sonic have a busy day tomorrow, so he leans forward and presses a soft kiss on the hero's forehead before getting up and leaving to him to his bedroom. Stop sexually assaulting Sonic in his sleep, Tails. I mean, it's just a kiss on the forehead. <laughs> Mark, if I ever wake up, I want to do that. You're to in you. my room, gently kissing my forehead. But like, if you have the relationship to kiss someone on the forehead, kissing them on the what forehead. What is with all these fanfics and kissing people on the forehead? It's a sign of of sensual love, and mm. not and not fucking love. Not fucking love. Just the sensual kind, the brotherly love, the one that makes you go, "Oh, I care about you so much." I fucking can't believe I did that. I'm really tired. I still haven't slept yet. <laughs> I haven't slept yet. It's, it's been two months. <laughs> it's been two months. My, my work's like, dude, what are you doing? I'm like, dude, I'm just reading fan fiction all the time. I, I quit. I gotta read fan fiction on the internet. Yeah. <laughs> Most of them, you will like, comment, and subscribe if you want me to read and send me your fan fics and I'll read them. Please support Italiar's <laughs> Patreon, which will get set up so he can never leave the house and just read fanfiction. Just fiction. read fanfiction to you guys. Never sleep, but just, read fanfiction. I can't sleep. <laughs> Stopping at the edge of the cliff, the blue hero kneels down into a crouched position, emerald green eyes locking up a large base in the distance. The base was tucked away within a thick rope of jungle trees in the shape of a thin tower with a wide, disc-like top. Its bottom is surrounded by a tall, sturdy metal wall, and is this just a dick? Wow, maybe. It's in a thin tower with a wide disc-like top. Oh, hell yes. Its bottom was surrounded by a tall, sturdy metal wall, and robots can be side seen flying in and out in dozens. You sure this is going to work, he asked, turning to look back at the yellow fox standing beside, beside a red biplane. Tails, you could just fucking say, like, hey... You didn't have to build the dick tower. You didn't have to fucking take him to a fucking war criminal. And be like, hey, let's fucking kill somebody. Oh, also, can you suck my dick, please? Also, isn't it funny that it's shaped like a giant phallus? Can you, uh, I don't know, blow me? Oh, sure, you know what? Fine, Tails, shoot your shot, my dude. Oh, yeah, the fox smirked confidently. I thought of every possible way this could turn out, and we're always winning this. Sonic grin standing to his full height. That's pretty snazzy of you. Ooh. Tail smiles back. I've been working on my snazziness. With a chuckle, the hedgehog walks over and stands behind the golden teen, the two at equal height as they looked over the holographic map in Tails' hand. We've got to plant a bomb here, the genius points. And here. With bombs on either side of the base, the explosion's going to knock out everything within the walls. So we get in, get out, and run really, really far away. Sonic smiles. Sounds like a walk in the park. Maybe, Tails hums, looking at the base itself. We need to try, to try to make as little noise as possible, but take out as many robots as we can along the way. We don't want any escaping. Sonic takes a couple steps back, bending over to stretch his toes. Oh. Betcha I can take out more than you can, and be back here before you. Tails freezes, his eyes glued to the stretching hedgehog, a lump forming in his throat. He was making a bet. He starts talking before his mind registers what he's saying. You really think so? I've studied this map a hundred times. Die? Oh no, I'm sorry. No, it's okay. <laughs> you're also on the road? Yeah, I'm you're on the highway now. You're on a sky highway. Now uh, I'm rolling around at the speed of sound. Got fuck, this is wrong game! Fuck! <laughs> Alright. Uh, you really think so? I've studied the ma this map a hundred times. He tries to sound as cocky as his friend. I'm taking a couple steps forward to show off said map. 
No matter how fast you are, I know all the shortcuts. Sonic bounces a step forward, eye to eye with the box, a twinkle of competition in those bright irises. Your brains against my speed? Bet. Tail smiles back. Oh. Sonic, no, you don't understand. Mm. Sonic puts a finger on her his chin. He's going to get a finger somewhere else soon. Mm -hmm. Whoa. Okay. <gasps> hmm. Thinking hard on what he should wager. How high are the stakes? Again, he talks without thinking. How hard are you gonna, do you think you're going to lose? Sonic Ooh. whistles, putting his hands on his live hips. <laughs> you really have been working on that snaz. All right, then. He stops for a second before eyeing the plane behind the box and smirking devilishly. I win, I get my plane back. Oh, no. Is he being serious? Sonic had made many comments over the past few years about wanting the Tornado 1 back, after the first one was completely destroyed by the Egg Carrier. Tails had sort, of, had sort of taken over it, and loved it too much to want to part with it. Every time Sonic asked to have his plane back, Tails had to find excuses as to why he couldn't give it up. Sure, he could just make another plane, but th this was the Tornado. It was practically his baby. You would seriously take the Tornado back, he asked has to ask? Sonic nods firmly. You know how much I wanted it back, the hero says. I don't want to watch it end up exploding. Again. Ooh, got him. Was that also what I witnessed earlier with the whole plane crashing? Uh, yeah. That was the, that was the, no. So this is after this. It would have to be. Because that's when the, yeah, that's when the Tornado 2 gets destroyed. Yeah, that's fair. All right. Cool. Let's see. He wasn't lying. Sonic loved that plane. Loved flying it. He would take it back and hide it somewhere in a heartbeat. The stakes were high. Tails frowns, looking over at the plane. You know that plane means a, means a lot to me, he says, turning to look back at Sonic, who had a curious look on his face. I know. That's why I haven't taken it back, the hedgehog admits. Tails drags it on, his namesake waving behind him. Pretty sure nothing means as much to me as that plane. Well, besides one other thing. Oh. Sonic raises a brow, arms crossed over his chest. Oh? What's that? Yo ass. <laughs> Justin the, Bieber and yo ass. The shots were lined up. He was glad to have gotten better at acting over the years, because while in inwardly he was screaming, outwardly he only smirked and shrugged casually. Only you. Sonic blinks in surprise, and there it is. There's a hint of pink on his, pink on his cheeks, and tinks and fucking, fucking... Uh-huh, uh-huh. <laughs> There's a hint of pink on his cheeks, and Tails has him right where he wants him. That's the line. <laughs> yeah. Okay. What? <laughs> I just still... He's got a pink of tinks on his cheeks. <laughs> I'm just like... I just heard myself say... <laughs> What? Got him. Got him. The magic ruins. Is it? Oh, <laughs> really? Oh, really? Then what do you want from me? Sonic asked, his stutter not going unnoticed. It's not this... like I like you or anything. <laughs> this was it. This was the push he needed. This was what he could use to see if he truly had Sonic the way he wanted to. Closing the distance between them by only an inch, he watches the hero's expression and becomes slightly surprised as he grabs his hand with his own. Remember our birthday last year? There it is. The cobalt's muzzle became a light crimson, a look of pure shock taking it over its owner's face. I yeah, what about it? <laughs> Sonic forces out, tripping over his own words. His hands are tense and tails its hand hold, and the, <laughs> and the fox is surprised at how calm he himself was being. Deciding to break the very, very fine boundary between them at that moment, he leans forward, nuzzling into the side of the hero's face. He hears Sonic breath catch in his throat, and it takes all his willpower to control his own breathing, and he says, his voice almost a husky whisper, If I win, I want to repeat, but as far as I want to go with it this time. <laughs> I don't know, Tails.
<laughs> can I say this story so I can take a break from this one second? This reminds me of the first time I experienced fan fiction. <laughs> okay. Please continue. Was and like was very young. Not very young, but like early teens I wanna say. Okay. Or like young or like preteens. And friend friend of mine's sister was like or yeah. Was like, hey, uh yeah, I've been reading fan fiction. I'm like, what's fan fiction? She's like, Oh wait, you haven't heard of fan fiction? Here, check it out. Sends me a link. And he's like, yeah, it's pretty cool. People write stories and stuff, and, like, it's based on characters and real shows, but they can kind of do their own thing with it. And I'm like, oh, that sounds awesome. I want to do that. Like, I want to write that. Let me check out this thing. And it's a Yu-Gi-Oh! fan fiction. I forget the name. I forget the author. I'm so I sorry. I think you've told me about this before. <laughs> well, I think your channel, your viewers, No, your no, audience, please. Please do not, do not think that means stop telling this story. <laughs> All right. Page to mash ammo. So... It's a it's a it's a Yu-Gi-Oh story featuring Joey and Kaiba, uh, and she's just like going on an aim at this point, being like, "Oh yeah, there's people playing this I'm like, "Cool, that's interesting. We check it out." It's Joey and Kaiba, uh, and they meet over at the house, and immediately my immersion is broken because they're playing Kaiba and Joey off as like friends. Oh yeah, that's... and I'm like, that that that's not real. Mm. like okay, but fine. But so then they go and have it like an unspoken agreement where they're like. They knew it was this. They were going to trade each other's decks, and the winner fucked the loser. And I'm like, wait, what? <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> oh, wait. Wait. I, I, and like, I was just like, what? And then I kept reading it, and I'm like, okay. Me having a barely knowledgeable understanding of what sex was. <laughs> we were like, oh. I finished sixth grade. I got this. Uh, yeah, basically. It's like, I just took a health class. I know what wet dreams are. I, I've got puberty all figured out. And then just like, <laughs> fucking Joey wins because they switch decks. And Kaiba realizes that he's not even a good dealist. dealist. It's just that he has an OP deck. And he learns it oh, no. by getting his ass fucking blasted by Joey's massive bomb. <laughs> For like, what seems to be hours. <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> and it turns into a friends to lovers situation, and it's all cool and stuff. But I'm just like, what the fuck did you just say to me? And she's like, well, <laughs> well, well, welcome to fan fiction, bitch. Well, she's like, oh yeah, a lot of fan fiction's like this. And I'm like, oh, what? And then I let you saw like other stuff. That was a lot of stuff. And I'm like, oh, you're not wrong. <laughs> and then as I got older, I'm like, oh, this is awesome because freaking you find like good stuff. And, like, I'm not saying that, like, explicit stuff is necessarily bad. It's more along the lines of, like... Oh, nice. Um, like, you're just... There's things between, like, trying to trying to create a whole, like, side story, side universe to a plot. And then being like, hey, you, you want to know what it'd be like if these characters fucked? <laughs> And, like, I know that's a popular meme, and I've seen that comment a bunch of times, but, like, it, it's, the one, 100% of shipping is divided into two camps. It's either, you're like, oh, these characters have a lot of chemistry, and, like, you know, I'd like to see an actual, like, romance plot play out with these characters. And the other time, it's like, these characters are pretty hot, like, I just want They wanna, should fuck. Well, I need to get off, and, like, this is how I'm gonna do it, and, like, whatever, man. And, like, then a whole bunch of, like, 100,000 people are like, I also want to get off to this. <laughs> and it's awesome. It's Sh awesome. Shout out to all you fan fiction fucking erotica writers out there. You guys are what, like, makes the world worth, like, caring about and shit. <laughs> That's it. That's it. There's no. There's nothing else I could think of to live. Firefighters, for. EMTs. Fuck you guys. Nah, doctors, nurses, teachers. No, nah, you're friends, assholes. You're, family. You pieces of shit. You don't even write Joey X Kaiba's ships. I don't need friends. They disappoint me. <laughs> no one ever disappoints me. <laughs> Joey's veiny cock. Joey's veiny cock destroying Kaiba's <laughs> ass, humbled asshole. Oh my god. It's really. <laughs> Alright, on that note. <laughs> With that out of the way. <clears throat> you, the hedgehog stammers, seemingly dazed, blinking rapidly with his cheeks practically on fire now. You want to... Tails pulls back. You want something horrifying real quick? Yeah. When Sonic's on, like, ladders and things, and, yeah. like, 
the rails, they don't render his eyes. <laughs> He's just an empty <laughs> vessel. His, no, it's just his spirit is being drawn. Oh my god. <laughs> his spirit is being, his consciousness is transferred into the ladder itself. I am the ladder now. Yeah, no, friggin'. I, w I would absolutely believe that if they said that was canon. If you told me that was canon, I wouldn't question it one bit. Fair. <coughs> I'm oh, sorry, fuck. I've interrupted you, please. No, you're good. Oh my god. Anyway, Tails pulls back, and Sonic quickly looks away, avoiding his curious stare. The hedgehog shifts almost uncomfortably on his feet, and Tails can see him biting the inside of his cheek. He decides to can you pl continue playing it off coolly, shrugging. I mean, you sounded so confident in winning this bet that I had to make it worthwhile for myself, you know? Pulling the strings he knew all too well, he asked, Are you sure you're gonna win? Sonic pulls away, crossing his arms and putting on a nervous smile, face still red. Of course I'm gonna win! There's no doubt about it! He kind of feels bad for messing with Sonic's ego, but then again, the stakes He's were- He's really horny! <laughs> the stakes were very high, yeah. including the amount of semen building up. Oh my god. <laughs> this was a chance to see if Sonic- see if Sonic and he could actually be together, if Sonic could reciprocate his feelings for him, or even admit that them already had them. Then, he asked with a smirk, you don't mind my bet, do you? Sonic's facade falters a bit for a second. The hedgehog obviously second-guessing himself. Not at all. He had him. Holding out his hand, Tails proudly pro pro smiles proudly. Shake on it then, and we start once we're down there? Sonic eyes him carefully before taking his hand and shaking it. Deal. Oh my god. Yo. Tails. Tails. You, you can just... I mean, I, res I respect the, the cleverness to be like, yo, I'm gonna fucking try to, try to give it to him the old-fashioned way and shit. By tricking him? By, well, by, by, <laughs> by, by waiting for him to be like, huh, I'm gonna make him fat. Be like, suck my dick then. And be like, Is that it, the old fashioned? That's how my nana did it. That's, that's how. That's how. There, there's probably if you go back back far enough in the human uh, timeline, probably just being like, oh, well, we're gonna make a bet, and if you win, then friggin' whatever. And if well, I, win, I say, Beatrice, if I win this bet, and if I win this, I don't know what they they do back then. If I, if I walk this stick farther than you, then you're going to receive my seed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my competitive spirit has been used against me. Oh, God. Well, Marcus. Reginald, normally I would never agree to this bet, but you seem got my ego all a fluster. Hell yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> all right. Sonic is fucking ready, by the way. <laughs> Oh god, I'm joking. Oh no, it's Tails! <coughs> Speaking of the devil! Hey, Tails is alive, that's right. He's alive! You're in the nick of time. He's flying like his life depended on it. Technically, when it came down to his love life, it kind of did. He doesn't see Sonic or any flash of blue as he's flying back to the tornado. A part of him was worried that the hero was in trouble, but then the sound of a sonic boom could be heard and the fox flies faster. He could just see a flash of blue in his peripheral as he's nearing the cliff of the tornado, of the, the cliff the tornado sat on. Sonic run up, run up to make it there, and he practically cheers out as the air lands right next to the plane. Only a split few seconds before Sonic is there, the two of them panting. Then the base explodes. They both yelp, almost completely forgetting about the whole reason they were there in the first place. A plume of smoke erupted in the sky like a mushroom. <laughs> oh. You know, we got this war criminal we're trying to explode, but you know, it's really more important that I get fucked and sucked. I we, we dude, what a way to commit foreplay is to nuke a war criminal, is to nuke someone. <laughs> Fire and sparks shooting out of every wall in the base. They watched in slight awe as the area erupted into pure red and oranges. A ship could be seen in the distance flying towards the base, and without a word, both teams jump into the tornado and take off before it can spot them. The flight home was quiet. It's not as... <laughs> oh, was it now? It's like this. Sonic sat on the wing. Not a word about him. <laughs> and about him, about the bet. It wasn't until they landed in the tornado's garage that the two jumped off and Sonic finally smoked up. There's no way you didn't cheat. 
Tails smile, as having had the feeling Sonic would try to talk his way out of losing. Then again, considering the bets made, I told you I knew what I was doing. Sonic gives him a look that's always completely unreadable, save for the twinge of nervousness in his green eyes and the hint of pink in his cheeks. Can we eat something? Tails decides to save the hero the embarrassment. I got something you can eat. To save the hero the embarrassment and nods. Food's on me. <laughs> oh my god. He was making chili dogs, figuring Sonic deserved it after what was to come within the next few hours. <laughs> Yo, I don't, I don't, I don't like this. This is, dude, this is Dubcon at best. <laughs> it is, it is one hundred percent Dubcon. I'm, I'm not, I'm not happy. It's not even like it's, it's, it's because, yeah, I don't know. This is like Christian Grey consent. Well, we I made I a bet. Even say, no, because I wouldn't even say it's Christian Grey consent. <laughs> Uh, is it worse than that? Is it lower than that? I, I wouldn't say that either. Because Christian, Christian Grey is like actual psychological manipulation. Whereas Unlike Tails. Tails. Well, Tails is just because the Sonic's like, yeah, I want to make a bet. I'm gonna, if I win, I want my plane back. And the Tails is like, well, if I win, I suck you off. Yeah. And like, Sonic could have been like, uh, whoa, dude, like, I'm not, like, I'm not into that. And like, Tails would have probably been like, oh, God, no. And then like, that would have been, but like, Right, but like, Tails knew exactly the psychological factors, like the triggers, that would make it so Sonic wouldn't say no. Dude, it's called foreplay, man. Yo, that's upsetting. That's an upsetting statement you it's... just made. <laughs> Here's the deal. That's why I backed out of it. Uh, yeah, I was going to go with the Ponds of Chaos, but graphic depiction of violence rape non con so I'm just going to say no to that as well. Mm. Yikes. Jesus. Yeah, also that's that happens a lot. Yeah, I know. <laughs> that makes sense. I hate it, but it's just how Sonic do. They're all Shadow and Sonic. They're all uh What? I'm just gonna I'm gonna show you. Uh, it's, uh, it's not this one. I'll read the text. No. Text to speech, cake. Why are you like this? I didn't even want to shout him out on this. You know what? I'm blowing <laughs> <him> up. <laughs> My God. Whoa, this is a lot of fucking tags. Alright, now I'm not even reading fanfiction anymore. I'm just admiring the freaking ridiculousness. The wow, what? This thing is really huge. Can I just read the tags of this? I'm not gonna read it. Yeah, read the tags. What's what's it called? Okay, it's called Fake It Till You Make It by Rotting La Lapine. Rotting Lapine. <laughs> uh, La Rotting Lapine? Rotting Lapine. Lonnie Lapine. Alright, uh... Graphic depictions of violence, major character deaths, Shadow the Hedgehog and Sh Sonic the Hedgehog, Knuckles the Echidna and Rouge the Bat, Amy Rose and Blaze the Cat, Amy Rose and Silver the Hedgehog, Blaze the Cat and Silver the Hedgehog, Vanilla Espio, Vector Vanilla Espio, the Espio the Chameleon, Vector the Crocodile, Amy Blaze Silver, Shadow the Hedgehog, okay. Now we're just- Everybody's go just fucking- all right, yeah, Blaze the Cats, Over the Hedgehog, Dr. Eggman, Dr. Robotnik, Post-Traumatic Stress Disorder, PTSD, Agoraphobia, Death of Minor Characters, Mental Health Issues, Mental Breakdown, Dissociation, Dissociative Episodes, Illusion, Paranoia, OCD, Bulimia, Past Alcohol Abuse, Alcoholism, Alcohol Abuse, Alcoholism, Intrusive Thoughts, pa Past Character Death, Past Sexual Abuse, Past Violence, Running Away from Home, Marijuana, Anxiety Attacks, Panic Attacks, Social Anxiety, Lack of Communication, Repression, Attention Deficit, Hyperactivity Disorder, Self-Esteem Issues, Autism, Spectrum, implied reference suicide. <laughs> My fucking god. We're halfway through. Alright. <laughs> Josie miscommunication, mutism, selective mutism, past mutism, speech therapy, therapy, psychology, doctors, hospital, reclaiming the word family. <laughs> Mentions of shitty government, conspiracy theories, covered up veteran deaths, 
military, military background, mentions of military style parenting, military, mentions of military deployment, mentions of war, mentions of performing surgery, mentions of past wounds, mentions of past fatal injuries, mentions of blood in the past, flashbacks, <laughs> hint at current politics using sonic lights. Oh my god, what <laughs> the fuck? It's a perfect politics using sonic like elements. None of this is canon though, and it doesn't follow any canon at all. I know I could have made this easy, could have easily made this into an original story, but it means, means more to me as a sonic one. Trust issues, anger issues, family issues, emotional hurt, comfort, emotional <laughs> shutdowns, emotional detachment, depression, bipolar disorder, alternative universe, college, university, stressful in college experiences, all characters around college age or in college, mentions of disability, mentions of unemployment, extremely unsafe driving, I mean severely unsafe, don't do what Shadow does ever, <laughs> <laughs> reckless behavior, adrenaline junkie, thrill seeker, impulsive sex, internalized homophobia, that it's not directed at anyone though it's just self-loathing towards one's sexuality, traditionalist views, reference past child abuse, the child abuse is along the lines of getting beat in her head, mentions of puking, mentions of prescription drug abuse, don't take someone else's pills is the bottom line here, self-disciplinary techniques, which is just Shadow's fun way of saying self-harm via exercise edition. Drafts are now roughly up to chapter 13, 14, so more, te more text to come as I upload. Oh. My God. Can I read the- now can I read the summary? <laughs> yeah. I'm not gonna read it. I read, read the summary. <sighs> After the death of Shadow's family, him and his adoptive sister, Rouge, and his uncle's- Wait, what? <laughs> Did I stutter? <laughs> Shadow's- After the death of Shadow's family, him and his adoptive sister, Rouge, and his hunk uncle- His uncle. <clears throat> his, uncle Shadow. His uncle's hand-me-down AI Omega all became closer than ever. The problem was he didn't really have mu as much luck trying to put himself out there for anyone else to know. That is, he never really left his room in the garage in general, wanting to be where he w was used to rather than the world with endless possibilities. In this College AU story, several characters with traumatic past come together and try to make one big happy family. They sort of succeed in a way, emphasis is sort of, all unlikely friends mourning the loss of someone dear to them trying to move on. It doesn't help that another death is right around the corner and very few people truly know, except for perhaps Shadow. Oh. But also what? I, I I love the fact that this, that Ronnie Lapine fucking went ham on putting every tag that could possibly happen. I what it, what really speaks to me is I could have just written my own story, but it means more to me when it has Sonic characters involved. <laughs> oh not... God, Demon Sonic, Demon Sonic. Her, hints at current politics using Sonic like like elements. <laughs> what is that? What do? You... When do you, how do you... We're just gonna make fucking Robotnik and Trump. Yeah. Obviously. Absolutely. Okay. Well, the best part is, I know I could have easily made this into an original movie, but it means more to me as a Sonic one. Trust issues, anger issues, family issues, emotional hurt, comfort. I just, I love it. Yo, I just wanna, like, do you just need somebody to talk to? Because it's like... Comment on this video. Alright, well then, here's, here's what I can do for you, Mr. J-Row. Mm-hmm. You want me to do one more search. However, how can fuck? That's not a button. I want to push. Fuck! Fuck! Random Let's exclude the. Hmm? Hold on. Let's exclude these two tags. <laughs> because that's the thing. Relationship. Alright. Who do you ship in Sonic? <clears throat> Go. Uh. Who do I ship? Who's your OTP? My OTP. Who's your OT Who's your Sonic OTP? Listen, you're. I, I don't know. Halfway, three quarters of the way through Sonic Adventure 1? A little more than. Um, or am I closer, closer, like, 
maybe like three fifths. Three fifths? No, more than that. Okay, so nearly three quarters of the way through the game. Um, and you have done so in a very short amount of time, I'll think, Yeah. Oh, I no. feel like you're a Sonic boy. Bye! Oh my god. <laughs> that's that's some fucking horror there. Yeah, this part's kind of annoying. Oh, oh, yeah. sorry. Actually, you have never gone this way before. Oh no, oh no! Oh okay. god. I'll let you, I'll let you. No, I'm just... So who would I ship? Um... Yeah, who's your, who is like... If you're like, dude, they're putting out a Sonic cannon and they're shipping these two people from Sonic, you're like, I'm I'm so into this. I will buy seven tickets. <laughs> I'll buy seven tickets. But, As you do to Sonic ships. Yeah. Specifically for Sonic ships. What Sonic ship makes you makes you think that? Um I mean, I'm kind of an El Clasico kind of guy. So you want uh... so either Sonic and Sally or um, Knuckles and Rouge. Knuckles and Rouge. I always hate here. So like, I always hated when they tried to ship um, Shadow and Rouge. Yeah. Because like, it doesn't feel right. Like the the thing they have is like one. Rouge is, like, one of the only people that Shadow opens up to, and, like, he does it in the Shadow way of not really opening up. Yeah. Um, but they've always had, like, this kind of more, like, brother-sister thing, I feel. Yeah. So it feels really weird when they're just like, oh, yeah, also they fuck. Also, they probably want to fuck. Also, the idea of Shadow fucking anybody is, like, really odd to me. <laughs> He's just trapped in this machine. Fuck. Absolutely. Also, the two stories that are... Oh my god. There's no way. What? Wait, what? Oh, what? What? What the fuck? How do you... What, what the fuck? What? Why are you fucking... I don't... Why do you... Why are you specifically just showing Sonic and Shadow? <laughs> oh. There's a lot of it. No. I... Oh. That's... What? What? Okay, here we go. Here we go. That's well. That's why. why. All of that was. All of that was just fucking. That's what I have no idea. What's going on. Um, all of that was just Sonic and Shadow. Oh. I fucked him in typing, and I but tried to put Ao3 Sonic, and I accidentally put Ao3 Sonic Shadow. Oh. So this actually would give us better. That, I figured I was like, so this seems very small for, especially for something like Knuckles and Rouge, because that's like a, that's like a cannon ship, I think. Right? Yeah, 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 I mean it's not cannon ship, but like, they're they've always been like really like flirty. Yeah, and so yeah, they 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 have the prime. So I'm gonna just take out these two, uh, and then. Relationships. Five. The most popular one by far is Shadow the Hedgehog and Sonic the Hedgehog with 528. Yeah. Uh, which is 300, almost 300 higher than Amy Rose and Sonic the Hedgehog. Wow. Uh, which is slightly ahead of Miles Tails Prower and Sonic the Hedgehog. Oh, God, I hate people. I hate the Sonic <laughs> community so much. Why? Because what you just said. Just Miles the Tails Prowler? Just, or, no, no, no. Just how much Tails and fucking Sonic smut there is. Uh, just slightly under that is Blaze the Cat and Silver. Listen, at least that's a canon ship. And then there's there's Sonic the Hedgehog and Shadow, but instead of a slash, it's an and. Oh, okay. Then under that is Knuckles and Sonic. Then under that is Metal Sonic and Sonic the Hedgehog. You know what? Then, uh, then I changed my mind. You know what? My perfect ship, Metal Sonic and Omega. <laughs> Absolutely. Oh Just my. getting their robot dicks licked. Oh my god, absolutely. Then under that is Avatar Custom Hero from Sonic Versus. <laughs> Sonic Forces. And slash Infinite Sonic the Hedgehog. Of course it is. Of course it's their OC in Infinite. And then under that is Knuckles and Rouge. And then under that is Sally and Sonic. 
fucking big old senderoni. And so you want Knuckles and Rouge or Sally and a Sonic? You want, you want, you know what? How about this? Let's click both. Yeah. And then we we figure it out from there. Leaving it, limiting it to. And that's what we'll do next time on J-Roll Place. Yeah! Sonic Adventure! I'm sorry. <laughs>